Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to a new Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough where I'm playing as Cetra the Imperishable. I have been asked to, I'm not going to be playing this one on Legendary, we're going to do a dog standard hard hard playthrough for this one guys. Um, I'll leave that on, leave Chaos Invasion on hard as well. Um, I have been requested to, we're using a couple of mods on this one, it's not a hugely modded playthrough, we're using Pierce's, um... Garrisons and Pierce's uh, better sieges mods, so we'll see what they're like. Certainly for Cetra, at least it promises to make sieging harder, which is good. So obviously Cetra, various effects, faction effects, extra public order, extra growth, which is good. The Lord effects, leadership and replenishment for Tomb Kings, mortuary cult, collect trading goods, uh, learn from dynasties of the past to awaken, awaken ancient Tomb Kings. And unlock new armies and heroes and realm of the souls tomb kings use incarnations in forms of replenishment and summoning to bring the dead back to life cool there we go it's a while since i played tomb kings so i know they've had some updates but that was quite a while back but it's, it's a long time since i've played a tomb king playthrough and i've never actually played a playthrough oh no it's a lie i have played for a playthrough as cetera just not publicly i've played cetra privately uh back when it first dropped because i was playing something else back then but we'll see how all this goes um i do like the tomb kings they are a very fun faction to play actually um i, I was debating whether or not to play this one on legendary as well but i've got one legendary playthrough going at the moment i think that is enough for the time being until i'm used to it but um yeah, we'll see how all of this goes. Obviously, I can't up to Legendary once I start, but... Mighty Cetra, greatest of all kings. Your civilization lies in mere ruins of its former glory. Much must be done to restore greatness to your kingdom, and for all to fear your wrath once more. To the north, sire, Savage greenskins threaten to raid your lands. They defile your mortuary shrines. Vengeance must be taken. More greenskins and skaven dwell in the mountains to the east, sire. They pose a potential future threat, while regions further south are already occupied by the Necrarch Brotherhood, sucking dry what life there still is in the desert. But these, great king, are but more distractions to a grander plan. The Black Pyramid stands guarded for now by a sentinel army. Control it and claim its dark secrets and with it unimaginable power. You are Cetra the Imperishable and all shall obey your rule. Okay. Oh, mighty... S so, yeah, first things to tell you things. Oh, mighty Cetra, great king, the imperishable, Kamaraka, the great king of Nicaragua, and so on 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 and so on. You know, when they get old, they, they you know, think of extra names. Now, one of the things I do like about these guys is all of your units are free, but you get limited amounts of certain units. Obviously... Our first thing to deal with is going to be the green skins. Ugh. Uh, we're going to start heading that way. I'm going to stay in my territory for the first turn because I want to be replenishing. Hmm. Bit of a mix there, and let us. Start going straight on to... Oh, you see, we don't get the best gold mines. But income is not a huge issue for us. And obviously, tech here is how we unlock people. Different dynasties give us different things. If I'm honest, I can't remember which one is the best to start with. I want one which is going to give me a lord early. So one extra army capacity. Oh, they all give me an extra army capacity. And they all take 14 turns. Um... Nicara Warriors, they are a good, good, good early game unit, I seem to remember. So I'm probably going to go for that one first. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one first, guys. It may not be the best one, but it's what we're going for. 
And obviously you unlock different Tomb Kings when you go through all of this as well, which is quite cool. Wish me luck. Basically, I need to build up a little bit. See, this is the trick, tricky thing. I actually start with a very small army. Um, which is potentially going to make things a bit trickier. They don't have a huge garrison there. I'm going to wait a couple of turns before I go to at least get myself into a reasonable shape before I push forward to take Xandri. Once I've taken Xandri, obviously I can replenish there before pushing north. I don't really want to push too far north because these territories don't give me... These places have great pyramids, which are a location of a great pyramid, which is of importance for Tomb Kings and provides unique buildings. We also have... You know, can awaken various things as we go through with these guys and... Ah, I think they have a different objective. Yeah, so it's not too much we need to hold. I think there is a different um, objective if you play in the... Ah, here it is. This is what you want. You want to also collect all of these books over time, so... Which give you various bonuses. Some of which are quite close. Lots of them are held by random armies. Next turn, I'm going to start moving, guys, because I think I've got enough. I wanted to get some archers in. Obviously, we've got a War Sphinx, which is just epic, certainly this early on in the uh, campaign. I love... Ooh, ooh, well, we're getting something to play with. That's going to mess with my plans a little bit. To be fair, I'm not that worried by that. Oh, it's not quite close enough. Not actually that worried by that because my garrison is absolutely fine. That means they've got a force there, which means here is potentially relatively undefended. So we can sneak in here. Obviously, Setra is on his isn't on the thing now. But long run, we're going to get oh, a chariot of the gods or a war sphinx. It's tricky. I think I would prefer the Sphinx. Even though the chariot is higher level. Some of you may tell me I'm wrong there, but I like War Sphinxes. Um, the Nicaran Monstrous. Ooh. 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 Hmm. It's a good thing I can't recruit any extra lords. To be fair, that's not hugely, and we've got a wall, big, and we've got a wall there. This is easy. I First battle, I always fight my first battle, guys. So this one is a has to fight. Oh, and this actually works well for us because they are in a place stuck together. I have an anti-infantry monstrous unit here, so we will have fun shredding them. <laughs> Right. No need to be subtle here at all. To be fair, I'm not even stopping. Just keep the charge, John. We are going to devastate these guys so quickly.
The fact these guys shoot as well is hilarious. So this thing does have some range damage around it. And it's not bad missile strength, actually. What a surprise, I'm already routing them. <laughs> Beautiful. I didn't get to use any of my buffs. As you go through, you, you take damage, you get healing buffs, and eventually you can summon... Um, I forget how to pronounce them. I forget what they're called, and I always pronounce them wrong, but you get some really... You shabti, and they are awesome. They're a large anti-everything unit, basically. Hmm, didn't lose a unit, so that's good. We replenished nicely. Lots of... My chariots actually did much better than my war sphinx. I think the war sphinx is good. It's survivable, but obviously the chariots get the shock damage. I am not... I'm bad with cavalry. I am... Terrible with shock tactics, and now we've unlocked some. We've not unlocked anything, but I can obviously spend them later on. Oh, the Jaff's incarnation of Kurt. Oh, that's. That's very nice. But, Root Marcher. Uh, growth. Start with always growth early on because growth is huge early on. I actually kind of want these guys to attack Kemri because I've got a reasonably, I've got a decent sized garrison in Kemri, and then I can smash them back. Um, come on, come at me! Ah! I need to be a bit careful, but I'm fairly sure I can actually beat them. battle for the creator god I'm gonna fight this I'm not that worried about that I'm I am rolling taking a big roll of dice here well I'm not I should be able to win this battle now the thing to remember is even though these are low level orcs they are um, savage orcs they do get that physical resistance buff um, so we want to be nice and aggressive here to engage them early these guys are my flankers. Two up on that side, one up on that side, and you two can go down here. Ooh, they're advancing straight towards me, actually. Okay, interesting. I wasn't quite expecting them to be quite so stupid. No, 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 stay moving. You two can stay there for now. You guys are going to start flanking round. Onto those archers. God damn, we can't retreat as well. I've lost those chariots. Sorry. 
That's fine, that's their job. Real. The rest of it's annoyingly not even vaguely worrying. Just get the hell out of there, please. Ah, oh, they're already disintegrating. God damn. They could technically get behind me, but I'm not actually that worried. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to hit them, however. They've got their war going, but I've got my uh, regeneration popped. My skeleton spim and they're struggling. Range, can you support here actually? Oh god! All of you guys can fold in here. I want to support my skeletons because their morale drops. They start to, they start crumbling, which is not ideal. So these guys are doing the right thing by cycle charging me here. That this unit is holding on. Um, they're not collapsing just yet. Right, hit them. You guys slam in here. Oh, that's it. Take their heads. Hit that war boss. You guys slam over into the flank there. They're about to utterly break. I just need to keep the pressure on. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can as they retreat. Kill as many orcs as I can before they get off the field, basically. That'll do. But it's close victory, but this is a garrison army, so who cares? Oh yeah, that's... I don't care about that. I was really annoyed I'd lost my chariot so early. But it's my garrison army, so it will replenish. So I don't, actually don't care. This is quite a nice early garrison, actually. Oh, of course, I've got the garrison mod. So, yeah. I was definitely derping there. No, we've got the garrison mod. So, obviously, this is a, probably a bit of a tougher garrison than I'd have normally. Honestly, I don't know what my normal garrison is like. So, um... But I like the idea of having tougher garrisons because I don't think sieges should be too easy. Um, also, the other thing is the way attrition. You take attrition faster, but they take attrition faster as well. So I don't need the replenishment. I don't need the movement. So we'll take the canopic jars. That's right. Run away into the deserts and die. I don't mind if they know what I'm planning, because let's be honest, it's not exactly difficult to guess at this point. But yeah, that's the other thing, is every build... Ah, you see, so that gave me a garrison. Buildings provide, with this mod, every building you build provides more of a garrison, depending on what you built, which is really cool. 
So like your capital will have a huge amount of monstrous units, for example, which is just awesome. Um, and other buildings do as well, so yeah. Um, but yeah, no, so as I say, build this place up, I will get... Uh, where are the walls? Ah, there you go, lots more, but you know, anything else I get provides garrisons depending on what I'm building, so... Which is still quite, it's quite nice. Not everything does, but it, it just gives you a nice little buff to your garrisons depending on what you've got there, which kind of makes sense because I guess the other factions, it would be based on what they're training there. Um, but yeah, oh, Sneak Armbreaker there, what a name. Cetra the Imperishable will deal with Sneak. Oh, are they... Ah, oh, see, they're raiding me, which is annoying and being a pain in the butt to deal with, but I think I'm probably better smashing into their territory up here to start with, because that force is now so weakened, it, it couldn't take anywhere. Um, but that is where we're going to leave it today, guys. This is a first episode, which I know, my first episodes, for those who are new to my channel, are always 20 minutes. Just find it works better for the people seeing them. I don't know why it does. Uh, obviously, if you have enjoyed this and would like to see more, please do like and subscribe, guys. Um, other than that, as always, a massive thank you to my patrons, um, as well as everybody who's watched. Please pop comments on the video again. It helps with the visibility of it getting seen. And um, pop over to my Discord and say hi. Cheers all.